Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to add data to your Cloud Firestore database using the Firebase.js package. Before we get started, be sure to watch the video on how to set up the package. The video for that is posted in the video description. Also, make sure you have created the Cloud Firestore database for your project in the Firebase project console. Do not forget to allow yourself to add data by setting the Firestore rules. Add the Firebase TS Firestore class to the imports, and then create a Firebase TS Firestore object. The Firebase TS Firestore class contains a method called create, which we can use to create documents at a specific location in Cloud Firestore. It accepts an object with up to four properties, path, data, onComplete, and onFail. The path property is a string array that specify the location of where we want to create the document. Every even position of the array represents a collection, and every up position represents a document. If we want to create a document in a collection called Users, we will put the name of the collection. This will automatically create a document with a randomly generated ID. If we want to give the document a specific ID, we will put our own value in the next element of the array. The data property is the data we want to put in our document. It is in the form of a JSON object with key and value pairs. For example, name, age, hobbies, and so on. Keep in mind that Cloud Firestore is mainly used to store text like data and not images or videos. We will need to use the Firebase Stories feature for that. The incomplete and unfail properties are optional callback function that we can use to execute code when the command is successful or not. We can display a successful message if it's successful, and we can display an error message if it fails. So right now, it will create a document in a collection called Users when the application gets launched. Go to the Cloud Firestore database in the Firebase Project Console and refresh the page. As you can see, it added a document in a collection called Users, and the ID of the document is what we use in the path. It also displayed a successful message in the browser. Go back to Visual Studio Code. If we take out the second element in the array, it will generate a random ID. Save the project and go to the Firebase Project Console. As you can see, we got some randomized text for the new document that was added. That's all for the create method. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. If you have questions, leave a comment. See you in the next video.